Hello, my name is Bernard Caymans. I am the medical director for infection prevention for the Mount Sinai Health System. Um, I'm here today to give you information about the new Omicron subvariant BA5. First, we want to talk about variants, right? As the SARS-CoV-2 continue to mutate, it acquires mutations, especially in the spike protein. And scientists then assign them, if they're different enough from the previous version, they are then considered a new variant. Um, within the variant, there are also some subtle changes in their genetic makeup that then uh, they are considered subvariants. As, so as far as Omicron variant is concerned, the first one actually went through a, a surge in the U.S. back in December. Uh, and since then, we've had multiple subvariants of uh, Omicron, the Omicron variant of SARS-CoV-2. The, the current one that is circulating in the country and is probably uh, responsible for more than 80% of infections in the, in the country currently is the Omicron subvariant BA5. Um, it is certainly different from other subvariants is that um, people who were infected with an Omicron subvariant before, meaning if you were infected in December or January or even as late as March or April, are actually, unfortunately, susceptible to getting infected from BA5. Unfortunately, even if you've been fully vaccinated and received your booster vaccine, um, you are still uh, at risk for getting infected from the Omicron subvariant BA5. It is because this particular subvariant has mutations on the spike protein that escapes our immune system. The good news is, even though you get you you can get infected, unless you are at high risk for complications, um, it does for being vaccinated and even boosted does decrease your chance of hospitalizations or even death from an Omicron uh, variant infection. As I have mentioned before, unfortunately, yes, being infected even with an Omicron subvariant of uh, SARS-CoV-2 um, does not protect you from getting infected with this new BA5 uh, subvariant. So it's important to still continue to take precautions, wear masks uh, indoors if you're in a crowded situation, and, and continue uh, to do hand hygiene and, again, all the other mitigation strategies that you, we have learned in the last two years. One big difference in how we're fighting uh, this pandemic is actually the availability of antiviral treatments such as Paxlovid. Um, it is really important that for anyone who has one or more risk factor for complications from COVID-19 infection to actually contact your provider in order to access Paxlovid. It is a mistake to wait until you feel uh, worsening symptoms. In fact, the best time to get treatment with Paxlovid is within five days of infection. Even if you have mild symptoms, if you uh, have risk factors for complications, that is the best time to take the drug. And it has more than 90% efficacy in preventing hospitalizations or deaths from COVID-19 infections. If you have not been vaccinated against COVID-19, it is really important that you get fully vaccinated because that is the only way that you can avoid severe disease and hospitalizations or even death from COVID-19. While fully being fully vaccinated does not protect you from being infected, it, is, it does protect you from severe disease. So it's never too late. And for those who couldn't get the previous versions of vaccine, Novavax, which should be made available soon, should be will be available for uh, anyone who has not been able to tolerate 
the other COVID-19 vaccines. For patients who have not gotten vaccinated because of intolerance to the previous versions of the COVID-19 vaccine, a newly approved COVID-19 vaccine called Novavax will, should be available soon uh, for those patients. It was recently uh, approved by the FDA and recommended by the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices of the CDC. Stay tuned for information on how to get that vaccine. It should be coming uh, in the next few weeks. It is worth repeating that if you have not been vaccinated or receive at least the first booster of the COVID-19 vaccine, that you should go do it as soon as possible. Um, we have plenty of data that shows being fully vaccinated and even boosted decrease the risk for hospitalizations or deaths. The other message is that even if you're fully vaccinated and boosted, but yet have a risk factor for complications from COVID-19, it is really important that you plan ahead in case you do get an infection, that you contact your provider and avail of an antiviral such as Paxlovid. Um, getting treated with Paxlovid within five days of infection has a more than 90% efficacy at preventing severe disease, hospitalizations, or death from COVID-19.